Did you recently notice cracks in your sidewalk or your garage floor, your driveway? If so, you might need slab jacking. It can often be confused with mud jacking. And in this video, we will discuss the differences between them. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm a project manager with AccuLevel. Slab jacking and mud jacking are not the same thing. In this video, we will discuss the differences between the two. First, we'll start with the process of injecting the material beneath the, uh, the concrete slab. For slab jacking, the holes that are about the size of my pinky. We're using about a 3 8 inch drill bit to get underneath the slab, uh, to put that material underneath there in order to stabilize or lift. With mud jacking, the holes are going to be more about a half dollar size uh, because the material is much thicker than what we use in slab jacking. So when you're looking at what the end product is, with the slab jacking, you're looking at putting mortar over a hole that's this size. With, with mud jacking, you're looking at putting mortar over a hole that's this size. So one is gonna be more noticeable to the other once everything's finished. Next, we'll talk about the difference in the material that's being injected beneath the concrete. With slab jacking, we're using a high density foam that sets up immediately uh, and it is going to resist all moisture from uh, from punching through it and to adding more weight to it. So there's significant uh, advantages to using the foam uh, and it's also powerful enough to lift commercial garages or to lift highway slabs. There's also some testing that's happening in order for us to use that as a new foundation underneath a home. So the foam that we use, it's not like a spray foam that you're going to put in your house that's going to fill small cracks and things like that. It's a different material that adds a whole lot more stability to whatever you put it underneath. The mud jacking, there's a few different types of material that you can put underneath the slab. Uh, there's a limestone slurry, there's a mortar slurry that can be put underneath there. Uh, this adds a whole lot more weight to the slab and it also can hold moisture which will add weight uh, once that stuff is injected. Also, it's not going to set up immediately. So you'll wanna make sure that if you're doing your driveway, your garage, that you're not driving on top of it after it's finished because that can still allow it to move. For slab jacking, your warranty from AccuLevel is gonna last for five years. That will come with additional pumps in between times. Say you have a downspout that's just beaten on this area that had dropped. We come out and we slab jack it, we lift it back up, but you don't change the downspout. It continues to drop water right underneath that slab. If it drops over that five years, we will come back out, not a million times, but we'll come out a few times and we'll pump underneath that slab in order to get that lifted back up for you. For mud jacking, it's more difficult to get a longer warranty because of the extra weight that you're adding underneath. So those warranties will usually last one or two years. And also, once you try to mud jack a second time, you have to drill through all of that hardened slurry underneath the slab uh, to get more material underneath there. It's more difficult to do that more than once. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you learn the difference between slab jacking and mud jacking. If you want to learn more about these topics, click the link below. Be sure to like and subscribe.